Excellencies, dear honorable guests of the Global Technology Summit. At the outset, let me stress that Slovenia and India cultivate excellent relations and with many opportunities for further advancement. Our intensified political dialogue provides a firm basis and best guidance for future cooperation. The visit to Slovenia by India's president in 2019 and by Minister Jashankar in September were the true milestones. Moreover, the minister's visit was the first one by any Indian foreign minister since Slovenia gained independence 30 years ago. For Slovenia, holding the presidency of the Council of the EU, the visit was also an important opportunity to put our bilateral cooperation in a wider EU context. Hosting the minister together with EU foreign ministers was yet another contribution towards a broader strategic partnership between the EU and India. Our strategic partnership is grounded in the shared principles and values of democracy and freedom. Both India and the EU are firmly committed to multilateralism, peaceful resolution of conflicts and sustainable development and are the, therefore natural partners in the global community. In these times of multifaceted challenges, bluntly unveiled by the COVID-19 pandemic, our interdependent world is tested in how it addresses challenges and seeks solutions. If we all step together, we can rise up to challenges faster and respond more efficiently. As the country holding the council presidency, Slovenia has been working towards Europe's economy recovery, focusing on its two main elements, green transition and digital transformation, together with the overarching theme of resilience. The pandemic has demonstrated that technology matters and can help us address health emergencies faster and more efficiently. In addition, it is crucial to ensure that recovery from the pandemic takes into account climate change and environmental degradation. Slovenia and India bilateral cooperation is taking place both at institutional and business level. Our countries sign science and technology agreement and there are projects underway in the field of health biomedicine and biotechnology, new materials, renewable energy, smart cities and artificial intelligence. Slovenian companies are trying to pave the way in India in the field of environmental technologies, information technology and some niche technologies. Some Slovenian companies already operate successfully in India in the field of pharm pharmacy, healthcare and medical devices. Slovenian green technology is also present in the Indian market, among others in the field of smart technology and environmentally friendly solutions in the area of advanced materials. There are efforts on the way to establish cooperation between public agency Spirit Slovenia and Indian National Small Industries Cooperation. We recognize opportunities in technology transfer, sustainable business alliances through exchange of business missions and sharing of best practices. It would be worth to explore also cooperation in the field of green hydrogen, robotics and artificial intelligence. The ninth session of the Joint Committee on Trade and Economic Cooperation between Slovenia and India suggested closer cooperation between the Mahatma Gandhi Institute for Rural Industrialization and various Slovenian institutions. Bilateral cooperation in information technology appears to be one of the most promising. After a successful start of the cooperation in 2014 at the Knowledge Expo, Public Agency Spirit Slovenia has been cooperating with established stakeholders in technology and innovation. After many roadshows, more than 20 tech and innovative companies were invited to National Clean Ganga program. Subsequently, the Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur signed Memorandum of Understanding with two Slovenian companies for participation in the Ganges River revitalization project. Artificial intelligence is a priority topic in dig digitalization efforts everywhere. Slovenia is highly ambitious in the field of artificial intelligence too, building on over 40 years of experience and research activities. Slovenia and India are both founding and active members of the Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence, an initiative to support and guide the responsible adoption of artificial intelligence grounded in human rights, inclusion, diversity, innovation and economic growth. 
Slovenia is also home of the International Research Center on Artificial Intelligence, a new category center under the auspices of UNESCO. It helps partners to accelerate their efforts to meet the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Slovenia warmly welcomes India as a partner country in the center and stands ready to connect with India experts and institutions. One of the topics for our bilateral cooperation might be the growing demand for fresh water. If we fail to act now, by 2040, we will be facing a 40% gap between water demand and supply. To help close the gap, we need investment, capacity building data, innovative and good governance. Slovenia is doing its part. We have been advocating for a comprehensive approach to water and water-related challenges at the regional and global level. We have established cooperation with India on water in eco-remediation and monitoring of rivers and underground waters. At the 6th India Water Impact Summit taking place in the coming days, similar solution will be discussed. Slovenia companies are keen to contribute. I'm grateful to the Indian Ministry of External Affairs and to Carnegie India for inviting me to speak at this year's edition of the GTS. And I'm looking forward to continued growth of India-Slovenia relationship. Thank you.